All right, let's talk about the best of the best in the world playing golf. So if you're in the top 1,000 players in the, in the world ranking, in the putting stats, you have one who's ranked number one, <clears throat> and you have one who's ranked in 1,000 place or tied for in, the, in last place. Since you're a kid, you've been practicing putting, and you're very good compared to everybody else that play golf. Obviously, uh, you're in the top 1,000, you're the best of the best. But putting stats compared to number one, you're way off. So every time you're trying to beat somebody at his game that is better than you, it's very rare that you will beat him, right? He's better than you at his game. So change the game. Try something different. Try two putters. And let me explain you why. Since you're a kid, you've been practicing many, many hours to putt and to do a lag putt. So let's say you're 30 feet away and you, you hit it close to the hole and you tap it in, right? Pulling or pushing your putt from 30 feet is no big deal as long as you get it close to the hole and then your next one goes in. But pulling and pushing your putt inside of 10 feet or 15 feet, that's a no-no. If you look at the statistic that at the end of the video, you will see between the, for the, from 6 feet, 7 feet, 8 feet, 9 feet, and 10 feet, to be precise, on the PGA Tour, between number one and the one who is on 192 place, not in a 1,000 place, but 192 place, it's 40%, around 40% difference. That's huge. Between number one and the average on the PGA Tour is 20%. So that's where you could improve by changing the game, use the GP putter, because when we're putting with the GP putter, the shaft is straight up and down. So our stroke goes back and forth on our target line. Even after you hit the ball, the putter head still travels on your target line. So that means you never pull or push your putt. It's simple. You will get very fast. You will get very good, very fast from a short distance. Like putt, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. So that's why I keep your two putters in your bag. If you improve your putting by a lot, who cares if you have only 12 clubs in your bag for the 60%? Change the game to beat somebody that is better at you at putting.